I see my refusal as provoking a life or death situation. In reality, however, I am sitting on black coral at low tide in the swing headaches. I am masturbating through my jeans, rubbing and putting a finger inside myself, opening my eyes to look at the blue skies and clouds and feeling the cool wind and remembering stories of Victorian women sticking hairpins in their vaginas and dying and understanding for the first time the need to fill that hole, that emptiness with something other than yourself. A city spider web of radiating cracks on the window of this bus to ruins of a past civilization. I am engrossed today in the beautiful decay of the pink and aqua is my room, white and Nine Mexican children now board the bus selling Coca-Cola, watermelons, tortillas, peanuts, little green fruit, orange soda, noisily shouting out their wares. I look for clues in their faces. They laugh freely with their business heads intact. 1975. Grass below looks like carpets of moss. Herds of black sheep keep it trimmed. Now I remember the clouds of shades of gray, and in the valley a distant village with small groups of Indians here and there, and terraced fields precisely scoring the mountainsides and outlining its contours. I remember visiting two villages near San Cristobal. On one, Jamulu, a tourist was said to have been put in prison for taking a picture inside the church, and as though it was an accident that we were naked in bed together. We had already arranged to have breakfast. Guanajuato, a two-mile, a two-hour bus ride to San Miguel, a beautiful city clustered between the mountains and climbing up the sides, the same Mexican colors on the house. Dot the landscape and all but the main street are tiny alleys running up, down, and across the hillside. A macabre sort of place with a museum of petrified mummies at the far end of town in the cemetery. A row of naked bodies in a glass case, all looking like overcooked chickens with tufts of hair on their heads and genitals, occasional holes in the dried skin and silent cries of agony on their faces. An accident of nature preserves their bodies, and human cruelty digs them up after seven years of their family's neglect payment of the burial. A bowl of frijoles at a market commodore with four Mexican women away from their husbands for a day, shopping and on the town, each with a bottle of beer before them, giggling at their momentary freedom. Always, um, I have Thank you. 